Hey you guys, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. And make sure you check out SavvyNaturalista.com for all your skincare needs. And in today's video, we will be trying Summer Friday's Jet Lag Mask. Now this mask, one ounce of this mask, which of course I have, will run you $25. Well, 2.2 ounces of this mask will run you $48. So when I first saw, saw this mask, I thought it was like for the plane. <laughs> <laughs> like I thought you literally take this mask when you go on a plane and I haven't been on a plane in a couple of years cuz I just you know I don't like turbulence it's too much for me it's too much I feel like a roller coaster I don't like roller coasters I'm from LA and we have the Six Flags Santa Monica roller coasters and Universal Studios didn't like any of them. I thought I was gonna die and have a heart attack. No, I, j I just don't. I don't like roller coasters. So anyways, with that being said, I just thought it was for the plane. Then reading about the mask, I said, okay, it's not for a plane. It's <laughs> I just, I don't know why I thought it was for a plane. I don't know why I thought it was for a plane. Anyways, this is what the mask is supposed to do. Just in case you don't know, it's a one in a kind hydrating cream face mask featuring proven skin loving ingredients that deliver a rich hydration and radiant complex complexion in just one application so we're gonna see is my complexion going to be as radiant and hydrated as it is now my acne bump is finally leaving and I have a little scar it's a little crusty so we're going to see will it help with the application it does have wonderful ingredients uh, shea butter is a little high on the list but you know it's not a $450 mask, just put shea butter in it. So let's go ahead and put this on our face. It does say apply to cleanse face, like it's literally coming out the tube. Apply to cleanse dry skin, apply a thin layer with fingertips, and it may be used under the eye area. So here we go. Let's apply it. This is what it looks like. I'm not going to swatch it today. I mean, it looked like a white cream. It looked like a cream, but I will smell it. Let me smell it. Um, I always smell like a, a light peppermint. It's virtually no scent. It's a light peppermint. So I'm going to go ahead and give them that. How come every time, every time I see this mask on Instagram, the way they watch it, it looks like oil paint. And then I'm putting it on my face and it look like Noxzema. <laughs> it look like Noxzema, you guys. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and smear this all on my face. So I know I want to talk about the AA. I awards if you don't know that means American uh, influencer awards is AAI something you know I really they have a lot of people who are uh, influencers I did vote so they had skincare influencer award right and do you know they only have one skincare influencer in it, the award and it's Gomatista. I think that's how you say it. I'm probably saying it wrong if I'm not. If I am, correct me in the comments. And they only had her. There were four beauty gurus who don't really do skincare. And the reason why I'm bringing it up is because they actually have the person who owns this brand, Summer Fridays, as one of the influencers for the award. And I looked at her YouTube channel and all she does is talk about Summer Friday products and like lifestyle stuff. So I don't understand how skincare is getting lumped in with beauty gurus who really don't have channels dedicated to skincare products. I mean, you could have used Dr. Dre, you could have used Mixed Makeup, Susan Yara from Mixed Makeup, you have James Welsh, you have so many skincare influencers out there there. And for you to just sit there and use, uh, you know, beauty gurus posing as people who never even, they have like a whole bunch of skincare. They don't have channels dedicated to skincare like this one, which is dedicated to skincare, skincare DIYs. They have just, you know, beauty products. And I don't think that's fair that they lump us in with the makeup community because we're not drama filled. So I just don't understand how they got their uh, influencers like that. I think that that th that let me know that the award may be rigged 
Now, if I ever go in the near future, I'm going to report to y'all if it's rigged or not. Now, if they invite me, it may not be rigged because, <laughs> you know, I'll be shocked to go. <laughs> I'll be like, I made y'all. I made it to the American Influencer Awards. <laughs> I don't ever see me going anytime So, Honey, I don't ever see me going. You see this channel? It's dying, y'all. It's dying. Anyways, this is the mask. Now, I will say this. Um... Because I've seen pictures of this mask on Instagram, I'm not really impressed with the uh, adding it to my face. So if you can see how I added it to my face, I'm going to go ahead and autofocus. If you can see, it's kind of um, blotchy. Uh, there is a tingling sensation. It's like a nice little tingle sensation. I will say it's very hydrating. But I was expecting more of a non-blotchy situation. Like, look at it. It's like patchy and sw it's not a, it doesn't, it doesn't go on like a mask. Uh, that's what I'm trying to say. And I feel like I have to add more. And I think the reason why is because of, you know, Instagram is so fake. <laughs> I see swatches of this all the time on Texture Tuesday. And I see swatches on people's skin. And it doesn't, why is it doing this to me? Is it because I'm a little darker than everybody I see with the mask go? But what? Why is it doing this? Y'all see how it's doing this? You know what? I'm not going to even go there, but just look at it. Does it look funny to y'all? It looks weird to me. Why is it doing this? It's like, this is what it's like. It's like putting grease on your face, but it's not grease. It feels like it's going on like grease and there's some sort of cooling sensation, tingling sensation going on. So that's a positive. I'm going to give it that, but I really impressed so far so i'm gonna go ahead what does it say how long to wait so and look at this little container contraption they have in it i just i just find it so weird so it says leave on for a max of 10 minutes for maximum hydration so i'm gonna leave it on for 10 minutes and then we could be back to see what it looks like hopefully it gets better okay you guys it's been about 10 minutes i'll probably say nine but normally I let a mask sit on my face for a little longer, but this one I'm just ready to take off. Uh, yeah, look at it. So, so far it's just drying out. <laughs> this is the power of Instagram, social media, and those people who be posting pictures of skincare. I am so upset. I, 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 don't, I don't even know what to, it is. It's like literally drying out. And it's leaving like grease on my skin. Now, I just got rid of a pimple. So I hope this doesn't really clog my pores specifically. Because then I'm going to be really upset. And I'm going to have to do another chemical exfoliation to get this gunk off my face. But anyways, I am going to stop rambling. Okay, you guys. So we're back. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and dry my face. And then we could go ahead and talk about this catastrophe. Here is this side of my my face here is my uh forehead i still got a little bit left and here's my chin okay you guys so let's talk about summer friday i'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this and if you like this product and it worked for you more power to you but i don't feel it's worth 25 dollars, and i definitely sure don't feel two ounces of this product is worth 48 dollars I think this product, this is about the product. It's not about the brand. I understand as a person who makes skincare products, this could be taken offensive to some people. And I have to say this because some people, these brand representatives like to get in YouTube comments giving me attitude. So I want to tell you this is about the product. You guys have lots of resources to make better products. So if you don't like my opinion, just make a better product. <laughs> Anyways, this is a cult favorite. This is one channel. People aren't watching me. I'm not that big. So I'm going to just say how I feel. I don't like this product. I think it's a war. It's a waste of money. This feels like one of Sephora's stick masses that after you get this funny coating feeling, it took forever to rinse off my face. Normally, when you do a face mask, face masks are really easy to do because most people like face masks and they're just easy to get right. When you're doing the face mask, it's not that hard to get it right with ingredients or anything. I'm loud talking like I got an attitude. Let me calm down. But it's not that hard to get a face mask right. They're really easy to make. I've made them. I've had, I have so many on my channel. I have so many on my blog. They're not 
that hard to get right so I don't understand it could be a great product I think there are a lot of issues one being the packaging I don't know if they were going for like a Picasso painting type of look or feel here it's it's a waste of time it's a waste of money this packaging is so not right you should have just put it in the container that being one the second being a coating a layer it took it takes a lot to rinse this mask off your face so you're looking at a longer wait wait time to rinse it off your face it's like literally trying to get oil off your face and then after you get it off your face you're expecting to have this soft supple smooth skin and all you feel is like rigidness and stickiness and it's just it's just a mess it's not worth the money I personally wouldn't buy this product again they do have other products and I am curious to try maybe they got those products better but this jet lag mask I don't know what y'all be talking about this is a bomb product and you love it that's because you see all the fake skincare photo people on there lying about the product because they got free product <laughs> lying about the product that's because y'all see them say it's a good product with a beautiful picture and this is not worth the money. <laughs> you know what? Let me look at the reviews on Sephora so I don't feel bad after this review. Okay, so I typed in Sephora. Here's the mask. Because <laughs> I don't want to feel bad for my, my reviewing this mask and calling it bad. And then everybody... The first four reviews... <laughs> <laughs> the first four one two three okay let's see the first five reviews one is five but the first four are horrible just look at this I don't feel bad it's not just me okay I could continue with my dislikeness of this product and I don't feel bad. I really think a lot of the hype is because of Instagram. My face feels like it is drying out. Where is my Kudalee? Kudalee, I need you right now because I don't know what's going on. Oh my God. Oh, oh, my face feels much more hydrated. The way the mask went on, it went on smooth and nice. And then after that, it's like a sticky layer. I personally don't think it's perfect for any skin type. However, if you do decide to try this mask, if you have dry skin I feel like it's the only skin type I could recommend it for is dry skin I would think even sensitive skin shouldn't try this mask due to the fact that when I was rinsing it off I was doing a lot of this and a lot of rubbing and if you have sensitive skin you know personally you cannot rub your skin constantly like that because you may cause micro tears you may cause lacerations redness and inflammation to your skin and when you're doing all this trying to get the mask mask off and you have sensitive skin eventually it's going to cause redness or some reaction to your skin and you don't want that from this mask i really was i was praying you were going to be bomb i was praying summer friday had got it right but i just i just don't see it i like the name i like the concept i don't care for the packaging and i don't care for the product but that's just my opinion go ahead and buy it at your own risk you may like it but from read sephora <laughs> i don't feel too bad <laughs> anyways you guys i want to thank you so much for watching this video make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you check out savvynaturalisa.com for all your skincare needs miracle glow oil as well as lara marlixa holiday season is coming make sure y'all get a soap from me Get us up. Get us up. Anyways, guys, I love you so much, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye, you guys. Mwah.